Okay, time for a quick, hopefully sub five minute video of doing a hand rub on one of these blades. Here's my setup. Let's see if I can zoom out. A little pan of ice mounted in there. I drop her full of some Mobile One, a little brass bar, and a piece of foam that I got from Bob Terzuola when I was at his shop, and a little bit of sandpaper, and that should be all I need to do this. I've I've uh, reground those bevels on the 400 on my little platen in order to get the uh, any coloring from heat treat out and also to go from 320 to 400. So here I'll sit down with just some 600 grit paper and hopefully get a nice satin finish on these and uh, that will be about everything for hand finishing on them. So into the vise it goes. Grab a fresh piece of paper. I've actually already done the other side already. So I've just got one side to do on this. I want to knock out one of these things and uh, make sure everything's good before I start doing the same thing to all 12 of them. So a couple drops of Mobile One on there. A little bit on the paper. Backing this up with my brass piece of brass and uh, I'll start sanding on an angle and I'm doing this so that my lines run a different direction than the 400 grit that I did on my platen and I'll sand until all those 400 grits are gone and then I know that I'm at least at a 600 which is what I want to achieve on these particular blades so by doing this on the angle, I can just be certain all those 400 grit lines are gone. I don't have any deep gouges. Nothing will be any worse than the 600 grit black ice paper that I'm using. My first look, I can see where I need to touch up some. And it doesn't need much. A couple of lines in the center still run in this direction. So I'll get rid of those. One, two, three drops on there. Move to a fresh piece of paper. I like to smear a little oil on the paper too. This uh, Mobile One really does the trick. I, I took a little bit of convincing to do it because it's a little messier than what I used to use, which is Windex. Um, but it works really well. So I'll concentrate on those spots where I still had some lines running, some 400 grit marks. Check again. And all the 400 grit lines are gone. So now I'll start pulling the lines the direction I want to go. Fresh piece of paper again. A little bit on there. Three drops on there. And uh, I'll start going back and forth. And this is where the Mobile One really shines. I can go back and forth like this a lot and I don't really get much in the way of fish hooks or anything from uh, from sanding. So I'll do this for a minute and get rid of all those angled lines that I did before. There's still some up there by the plunge. Move to a little fresh bit of paper. Work on that plunge area a bit. Now I've actually got a little bit of paper sticking out beyond my brass. And I'm really only sanding with just the leading edge here. So I start up above the plunge. Work my way down it and then just pull. to this rubber which if I remember right Bob told me is a crepe sole from a, like a boot maker. They'll be making cowboy boots or something they use this stuff on the soles 
and it works really well. I've got some other things that I always used to use um, and I've recently changed. I glued rubber strips onto aluminum and did the same thing. I've got a couple of different durometers of the rubber, but this, this crepe that Bob gave me really seems to do a, a heck of a nice job. So I do the same thing. I've got a little bit of the abrasive sticking up beyond it and I start up above that plunge and drag and just go straight back. I'll do about 20 strokes and then clean everything off and look at it. And I've actually still got some angled lines down along the edge and near the tip. So I'll go back to the piece of brass and work on that. They should clean right up. So I'm putting a little more pressure on the areas where I saw scratches running the other direction. And hopefully that got rid of them all. Yep, they're all gone now. Now I'll go back to that rubber block. Like I say, do 20 strokes again. Take a look. ATS doesn't clean up as nice as the CPM 154 does. I can look in there and I can see some of the carbide formations and stuff in the in the steel. And uh, with the CPM material, which is my typical steel, I just don't see that. I think that's as good as I'm going to be able to get. And let me see if I can get that in there. I doubt you're going to be able to see the lines with this particular thing, but I'll try and snap a picture of it. And that's it. The whole thing is done. I'll do that one more time, just the, the final strokes with the rubber after I surface grind. My next operation is going to be surface grind this surface down. And uh, during handling and stuff, I might scratch up the blade. So after surface grinding, I come back and clean it up one little bit and then mark it with my name. And that's it.